Hello again. Uh, this is uh, Elgin Subway Surfer Bowling, uh, known as the Liquid Dancer Old Dude. So named because, well, I'm an old dude. 51 years old as of the time of this uh, video. So started doing Liquid Dance late. Um, if you've been following this channel, uh, you know that I do Liquid uh, now, as part of my movement uh, therapy, as I'm home here convalescing uh, because of uh, hmm, just getting over, you know, just, <laughs> I won't go into it, it'll take too long, it'll take me away from the video, but just check out past videos and you'll find out uh, what my particular ailments are and how liquid is helping me, but... Um, I got a question from a subscriber, you know, uh, who wanted me to interview with him, and uh, he was asking me why, how, or rather how, I got into Liquid, period, and I was very flattered that he would ask me that, uh, because he's very prominent in the Liquid uh, dance community, and I'm just a little nobody out of the thousands and thousands of liquid dancers who are much better than I am, and just very floored and flattered that he would even want to ask me a question. And I'm one of his admirers and have been for years, but uh, I digress. Uh, I got into liquid around the same time that I discovered uh, another dance form uh, called Five Rhythms. Uh, five Rhythms is an improvisational uh, dance form that was created uh, by Gabrielle Roth. And I took classes in New York City under Tammy Burstein. Uh, just loosely, loose definition of Five Rhythms, like I said, it's an improvisational um, creative movement dance form. And according to the philosophy, your body as it dances, as it moves, depending on the music, goes through uh, five basic rhythms. It's flowing, staccato, chaos, lyrical, and back to stillness, hence five rhythms. Uh, you can find that when most people dance, they go through the, you know one of those five rhythms uh, at some level, and what attracted me to Five Rhythms was that uh, in our studio, it was a space to dance, to work out movements, and I had issues and uh, problems, you know, in my life that I wanted to kind of get out. I wanted a space to dance, to move, that wasn't so much a, hey, look to me how cool I am, because I can do this, you know, step. You know, I, I wanted something where I could just work out things by movement. Uh, I'm an artist by trade, uh, and uh, I'm attracted to all things creative. So I started doing uh, five rhythms for about two years, and it did free up my body tremendously. But there was, for me, this is not, you know, a knock on five rhythms. This is my opinion. Uh, it was a little too improvisational and there were a lot of point times where you know I felt like gee you know uh, I'm just making this this up just kind of moving around yeah sure I'm getting free you know in my body you know I'm, I'm, I'm doing all of this great stuff you know and I'm grooving and everything but I need you know a little a little more structure I, I need a loose structure you know but a structure a framework that I can kind of work out of and around that time I started going online looking at different uh, dancers, and one of the dancers that uh, kind of stood out was this guy named Liquid Pop Eric. I found out later that that was his name, and he was in front of this jukebox just doing this thing that now I know is, you know, I'm not doing it as well as he is, of course, but he was doing this thing called Tunnels, and I mean, man, this guy, you know, was going off, and I, I noticed that the movements that he was doing, you know, they were fluid, it looks like his uh, arms were like garden hoses, you know, and it, the movements just kept kind of repeating over and over and over again, and I uh, knew from my training with Tai Chi, 
you know, that any movement that kind of repeats over and over and over again kind of releases the chi, you know, you know, in your body as it moves up and down, you know, your body. And so I got interested in five rhythms, not five rhythms, blah, blah. I got interested in liquid because of that, and I discovered uh, the group that he was affiliated with. I think it's like the Liquid Pop Collective, and just started gravitating towards uh, different dances there. Kai, you know, was uh, one of them. I love the way Kai um, did his... Uh, contour, you know, work, uh, some guy named Tiger, <laughs> you know, was, uh, you know, one of them, I love the way that he incorporated popping, you know, into, you know, his liquid, and, you know, there were, you know, several others, uh, I learned my first hand flow like this, and then going under, you know, from this guy called True Horror Show, you know, I, I, I that was just a groundbreaking video uh, for me, and so, Liquid provided for me uh, a structure, a container that I could uh, work, you know, with, uh, you know, movements that were um, repetitive, you know, but after you learned, you know, the various movements, you could kind of break out of them and do, you know, a lot of personal stuff, you know, on your own. That's one of the things that attracted me to it initially. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, this is part one of this video. I don't want the time, you know, to run out and not be able to upload it. So I will continue, uh, with my reasons for doing liquid, uh, in the next segment. Uh, this is old dude, you know, just giving you my liquid story, you know, for whoever is interested in listening. Perhaps you will be inspired if you are you know, new to liquid, you know, yourself, maybe this video will serve as a uh, inspiration, you know, for, you know, you getting involved in liquid yourself. It is a very beautiful art form. It is very relaxing. You know, it certainly has been, you know, as I always say, therapeutic, you know, for me. Uh, it's gotten to the point where I as I'm talking to you now, I pretty much do this <laughs> all the time. It drives my wife and my kids crazy to see a 51-year-old guy just kind of uh, doing this, you know. Um, but, you know, I just, you know, love it that much. So uh, I'll be back, you know, with uh, more information. <laughs> 